एवरीवन दिस इज अमृतपाल सिंह वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ स्काला गाइस इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट स्ट्रिंग्स एंड हाउ टू यूज देम इन स्काला लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज हाउ वी कैन डिक्लेयर अ स्ट्रिंग फॉर डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ अ स्ट्रिंग वी कैन यूज टू मेथड्स वन इज विदाउट टाइप इन्फ्रेंस वन इज विद टाइप इन्फ्रेंस इन दिस एग्जाम्पल वी आर यूजिंग द थिंग्स विद विदाउट टाइप इन्फ्रेंस बिकॉज वी आर स्पेसिफाइंग द डेटा टाइप एक्सप्लिसिटली हेयर लाइक वी आर स्पेसिफाइंग कॉलन देन द डेटा टाइप स्ट्रिंग राइट दिस इज विदाउट टाइप इन्फ्रेंस and this is example with type inference in which we are not using do, uh, this colon and data type right we all know that scala has its property of type inference the scala can automatically recognize the data type we don't have to specify it explicitly here right this is how we can declare a string in a scala moving further using java's string methods this is just for the information that the uh, scala's string method has been inspired from the java string methods it means whatever the methods you have used in java you can use it here as well it doesn't mean that if you are not having the java background you cannot learn scala it just for your information just for your knowledge that that uh, scala string methods has been inspired from the java string method let's see one example for, of it let's let's suppose we have to find the length of a string and we can use the length method which is been used in java let's see this in action for this uh, all the demonstration i have opened up my scala's terminal here plus i have already op uh, written all the important commands for a demonstration in the notepad file let's see the first one how we can find the length of a string right i'm just copying it here and pasting it here just to save the time right and i got answer 34 as expected right so it has given me the length of the string which is in a double quotation marks moving further next is string concatenation again uh, uh, we can do it in a two ways one is without specifying the variables in this case i'm not using any variables right i'm just using hello plus world it will give you give, give uh, it will uh, give you the answer hello world and in a in a second uh, case i'm using uh, the variables both will give you the same answer but just a two different approaches for string concatenation moving further string interpolation and we can use this string interpolation in multiple ways using s using f using raw and many more So what is string interpolation it's the ability to create new strings or modify the existing one by embedding them with the expressions the very first thing is string interpolation with s we can prepend or we can prefix an s to any string literal let's see its first syntax we can use it in a two ways first is we uh, we have a syntax for single variable expressions in which this is a like syntax we have to use we have to write s at very beginning then double quotation mark starts optional string then we have a dollar sign then we have a variable identifier then we have a optional string and double quotation marks ends let's see its example i have written the example here string interpolation i have just defined a val channel equal to unboxing big data okay let's define it first it has been defined now let's make use of this s here for this i have just written print ln then i am using the uh, the uh, regular round brackets and i'm using s then i've written kindly subscribe then space dollar sign i'm using channel in a channel we have a unboxing big data so i'll be expecting the answer like kindly subscribe unboxing big data right this is as expected so this is the meaning of this string interpolation with s right in some case what happen like we don't have this uh, variable identifier we are having the non identifier characters for this we have to use this curly brackets and we have to pass the expression in, inside that curly brackets let's see its example i have taken the example like this in this case i'm just adding 3 plus 4 and i'm enclosing this uh, 3 plus 4 expression in a curly brackets you can see print ln s double quote starts or double quotation mark starts 3 plus 4 equal to dollar sign in a uh, curly brackets i'm using 3 plus 4 so i got the answer 3 plus 4 equal to 7 as expected this is called as a s as a interpolator and we do have a case in which we can make use of f right string interpolation with f let's see its uh, example first but, but 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 before that let's see its syntax everything is same just we have a two changes here before we are having now instead of s we have f here and then we are having a format specifier okay so the complete syntax is f then double quote start string then dollar sign variable identifier percentage format uh, format specifier then string and double quotes ends let's see its example for this i'm using this val pi equal to 3.14 One five nine f. Let's see it here in action. So this is, has been defined by. Afterwards, I'm going with the this line in which I'm printing the uh, value of pi. But you must be noticing one thing that I'm using dollar. Then I'm using percentage. 
dot two meaning is it will be giving me the answer by round by rounding off the things up to the two decimal places right so i'm getting the answer 3.14 right so this is how we can make use of f as a string interpolator moving further string interpolation with raw raw meaning is like it will not recognize any of the character literals escape sequences it will just display the things as it is let's see this in action for this first of all i'm using this println without raw then you'll see the difference with raw in this case there's no raw prefix we are using and as expected i got new line first new line uh, second but if i'm using the with raw you will find that nothing will change it will just print the things as it is this is called as a raw as a string interpolator you can see nothing got uh, recognized so it, it has given me the answer in a, in a same line no change at all moving further this is a syntax we have used here raw as a prefix now how we can test the string equality for the testing the string equality we can use the double equal to method let's see it here for this i have defined the two strings first i am specifying val string 1 equal to ubd in lower case let me clear the screen ubd in a lower case then in a string 2 i am putting this ubd in a upper case and uh, we are just trying to compare these two strings as expected it should return false because it will give you the answer in a boolean value right so i'm using the double equal to method let's see val are they equal equal to string 1 double equal to string 2 okay and let's see the answer we can see we got answer false as expected because it's a boolean and because it's in a lower case it's an upper case that's why they are they are not equal right that's why i got answer false moving further now next is creating a multi line string how we can put the things in a multi line so when the strings are equal it simply mean that both strings are consist of the same character in a same order and how we can create the multi line string for this we have to put this syntax right keyword space variable name equal to three times we have to put this double quotation marks then again at the end we have to put the same let's see this in action for this i have put this uh, let's see it here val let's define this multi line string okay i got this okay now let's try to print it let's print that let's see what answer we are getting as expected i got the answer the uh, things in a multi line so okay this is a multi line string moving further then we have a splitting the string how we can split the strings so like in this example we are having a string with the separator as comma so you can see like uh, with this comma we have uh, recognized the separator and you can see the pizza dough and tomato sauce cheese toppings of choice is coming in new line so it, this is how we can split the string for this we have to use the split method with the comma separator okay this is a syn syntax we have to use keyword space variable name equal to string 1 comma string 2 dot split double quotes single then in double quotes we have to put the comma as a separator let's see this in action the same example i have written here let's see let's clear the screen okay you can see i got the answer in new line because we are splitting the string with respect to the comma as a separator moving further next is finding the pattern in a string in every programming language we are having some uh, some characters some expressions through which we can find the pattern like in the case of sql we used to have a like operator in which we used to pass the percentage or underscore in the same way we are having this let's suppose we are talking about the first one asterisk asterisk meaning is zero or more meaning is uh, a b asterisk c will match with a c okay a b c a double b c a triple b c and so on okay zero or more a b plus c meaning is one or more meaning is a b c a double b c a triple b c and so on in third a b two means it will just match with the a double b c only so we are putting the uh, in a double in a it's a curly brackets then we have a a b then 2 comma 5 we are giving the range now it means it will match with a double b c to a five time b c right then we are having in a square bracket we have a b c it will just match with the a comma b or c then we have a a b c then we have plus sign it means it will match with all the possible combination means a b c then a b a c and means all the possible combinations that we can make out of this then we have a a a hyphen z and capital a hyphen z meaning is all the uh, al uh, alphabets right in a lower case or an upper case then we have a in a uh, square bracket we have 1 to 9 it means 
all the numerics from 1 to 9 then we have 1 to 9 with plus means all the possible combinations this is how we can find the patterns in a string moving further how we can implement the regular expressions in Scala if you want to implement the regex or regular expression in Scala we have to uh, put a suffix as dot r right let's see this in action so afterwards like uh, we have been having the replacing the uh, patterns in a string we'll see this uh, in a while okay with along with this example so in this case we have to replace the patterns in a string like we have a let's suppose we are putting the condition like if name in this text then replace with something right how we can do it for that we're gonna use this different patterns like we are having this replace first replace first in replace all replace all in let's see this all in action first I'm having this in my this one first of all uh, let's see the regular expressions uh, which I already said uh, let's see this in action first this one all right uh, for this I've written here we are uh, we are specifying the dot R it means I want to find something related to the here so for this uh, I'm using the method here find first in okay let's first define the string to find the expression okay expression to find then we have a string to find expression now apply this we are using find first in means find the first occurrence in this okay I got the answer and let's try to print in a proper way copy paste so I got answer the okay, it means it has uh, matched with the this the the first occurrence right moving further then we have another example available right in which I'm having some different uh, concept available let's see it in a one shot just to save the time and I'll explain it here okay so in this case my expression is one to five then dot r as I've already stated that if you want to do in a scala you have to put a prefix sorry suffix as dot r and my expression uh, the string to uh, the string is 12 space 67 space 93 space 48 space 51 and I'm just using find all in means find all right uh, as expected like it will find in, in in the complete string who is who is coming in this range 1 to 5 but I got the answer 12 okay then I got answer 3 I got answer 4 and I got answer 51 it means like it has not giving me the answer in a like in a as a digits like in this case 12 is a uh, like is a is, is, is it's coming as is together like 12 is coming 1 2 is coming as together as 12 51 is coming as expected but what about this others right I'm not I'm not getting 48 completely okay what's the how we can do it for this we just have to make a single change here although it is it is right answer it's not a wrong answer because here we are not specifying the size we just specifying the numbers who is falling in this range 1 to 5 just to uh, do it in the other way around what we can do simply we have to put here the range in a curly bracket put a 2 now I'll be getting the right answer here it will be coming as a two double uh, digits will come together let's see in this case the answer will be different I am getting the answer as ex exactly 12 and 51 because now 12 and 51 are in the range of 1 to 5 earlier the answer was 12 3 4 51 because I haven't specified the size right but now I'm specifying this curly bracket 2 it will make a difference right now moving further replacing strings that we were doing this topic we are having multiple methods available replace first replace first in replace all replace all in let's see this in action then it will be more clear what it means right they, they have a, almost the same syntax right first one is we are having a replace this one let's see the meaning of replace first okay replace first meaning is in this case we are giving this 0 1 in a square bracket and we are putting x here it means try to find the first either 0 or 1 and try to replace with the capital X that's why we are getting it has encountered 0 first okay that's why 0 got replaced with the X are you getting my point so in this case it will just try to find the first okay that's why it's called replace first try to find the first 0 or 1 
and replace it with the capital X. This is the meaning of replace first. Moving further, we are having next one in which we are having a replace first in. Okay, let's see. It will just replace the uh, given character with the new one. In this case, I've given H okay, as my regular expression and I've uh, put a string uh, through in which we have to replace hello world. I've written replace first in. I've put in replace in J. It means just H got converted to J. That's why we got answer jello world. Right. This is called as a replaced first in. Right. Moving further. Let's see one more example. In this case, I'm using replace all. Repl replace all now the third example in this case it is just a uh, extension of the previous example we have taken so in this case i'm using replace all instead of replace first so let's see the change you can see it here wherever we have the occurrence of zero and one all got replaced with the x right earlier we were having different answer here we were finding the uh, first zero or one and try to replace with x but here it, as it is called as a replace all wherever we have the occurrence of 0 and 1 replace all with the X let's see next example it's called replace all in again I'm just doing it in a one shot in this case you can see we have defined this uh, A to Z in a square brackets and all the alphabets will be replaced with the one this is the meaning that's why this D K got replaced with one Okay, then we have a 719, then we have a RX, RX, right, got replaced with 1, 5, then C, uh, C with 1, then 4, LJ with 1, 2, in this way. So, in this way that all the uh, alphabets got replaced with the 1, this is called as a replace all in. Moving further, then we have a next uh, point available, it's called as a comparing string. How we can compare these strings? For this, we have a multiple methods available like matches equals compare to equals ignore case let's see this in action the last point of this video let's see it here how we can compare in this case i'm just comparing whether this ubd equal to ubd or not we have a string one string two let's try to use equals as a method i should get answer as right because both are equal so i got answer true as expected because both are of us uh, ubd and both in the uppercase i got answer true as in a boolean right moving further then we try to uh, find out the this one uh, next one is we have a compare to so compare to is little bit different let's see this in a proper action compares to uh, has some rules okay let's discuss it first let's see the answer first okay here we have a three strings available string one equal to this is scala string two hello scala string, string three hello scala it will just lexic uh, it will just compare the things lexographically what it means it simply means that uh, that if we have the if the uh, both strings are same we get answer zero if we have the if you are getting the positive number it means the string one is greater than string two if you are getting a negative number that string one is less than string two in this case you can see we are first comparing string one and string two so it is showing the answer 12 it is in a positive it means string one is greater than string two but now we are comparing string 2 with the string 3 both are same as we, that's why we getting answer as 0 it means it will compare the two string lexographically it means alphabetical order actually it's a, in a deep inside uh, here we are just uh, because every character have some unicode or decimal value we are just comparing that actually numbers got compared so just remember the rule three rules if the both the strings are equal then we will return 0 if if the first string is uh, greater it will just give you positive answer like we have got it here 12 but if it's less then it will be written the negative answer so let's this is the meaning of uh, compare to let's see the last example of this complete video in this case i'm using equals ignore case here intentionally i put ubd one ubd in a small case one in a upper case let's see the answer i got answer true uh, because it will ignore the casing upper case or lower case it, it hardly matters but both characters are same ubd that's why we got answer as a true I hope guys uh, with this uh, video you got must be understood what are different methods we can apply on string. If you got any doubt please reach out to me on my comment section. I will be happy to assist you. Thanks for watching guys. See you next video.